So going back to that scoring thing, no numbers will appear, just names moving around on the leaderboard. The judges are surveying all the action, but they give it a live ranking. It's, they're looking for overall impression on your best run. So we'll see the names jumping around a lot on this leaderboard. And it is a 35-minute jam session out here today on the Jeep Slope Style courses. We welcome in Canada's Max Moffat. Really cool. Another flip on that top feature, getting the hand plant misty flip out. And yeah, I mean, still a typical slope style run in that regard. You still got to put down your best top to bottom run. So it's got to be full of technical rail tricks, full of perfect jumps. So your best single run, but you're going to get a couple tries at it to really get the rails all dialed and up the ante on these jumps. Max Moffat here. Oh, big rotation going for the 1620 there. Max diving forward, the double bio rotation. So really cool run, lots of rotations. If anything, I think there maybe was a, a grab missed on that 1620. And I'm gonna be saying it all day. When it's jam format like this, the athletes get a lot of runs. You really have to be picture perfect on everything. So if you don't get that grab the whole way, it might not seem like much, but to the judges, they have to be harsh on something like that so that they can differentiate this run from every other run. We're gonna see 10 other athletes with three, maybe even four chances to put down Very runs. Strong, so you gotta be strict so that so then when that winning run that comes, game. you what can really game. distinguish it. Yeah, and if that number one position holds up throughout the rest of this competition, Max Moffitt currently sitting in a silver Metal position as of right now. He has one prior X Games appearance that was two years ago here in Aspen where he finished 13th in slope style. Really cool. Misty, sort of 900 off the top there. He does a hand plant, spins it around. Oh, these rails are epic with that very, very unique flip over the top rail into some technical moves, reaching out there for the tip of the ski, the nose grab all the way out on the tip. Max Moffitt, a great run going here. 1440, looks to mirror that going to the right. 1620, and a perfect, picture perfect landing for Max Moffitt there on the final jump. So what do you think? Is this gonna be enough to maybe overtake that top spot? That is tough. This is definitely a really great run. Similar to Woodsy, he's doing a flip over that top rainbow rail, It's except he's doing a hand plant. So diving forward, let's take a look at these grabs. Looks like he gets all the way to the end on that one. I mean, I love those landings. Some of the smoothest landing, smoothest style in skiing. Nope. Regetli still sitting in that number one position. Max Moffat in that last round, he bumped, him up, bumped himself up to a number two position. Max, I mean, I love that Misty 900 ham plant. Like, who does that? I mean, looking at that feature, that rainbow rail up top, never would I have thought of that trick, and Max makes it look easy. That was an incredibly clean rail section, so technical. All the way out on that nose grab here, Max Moffat, known for his landings and his smooth style. Another beautiful 1440. Can he do another massive double bio here at the end? Oh! Just about a foot or two of airtime away from tweaking that around. So now we take a look at Max Moffat. He finds himself on the bubble there in that bronze medal position, but you would love to give yourself some breathing room with a lot of names still to go here on the start list. Only his second X Games appearance. So again, ignore that time clock. Once that runs out, we do finish out the run order. So everyone's gonna get the same amount of runs here. See if Max Moffat is able to give himself a little bit of breathing room here in run four. I mean, nailing that trick every single run, just so cool. Diving forward, there's not a lot of air time there, so to be able to do that hand plant where he puts his hand on the rail and then get it all the way around is just incredible. I mean, the whole rail line is so good, which is, I think, why he's got such a high score, because these jumps are good, but we're seeing triple courts and 16s from some of the other athletes, so to keep up with that, he's got the technical rail. Look at this follow cam action in the air with him over this massive jump combination, diving forward. <laughs> wow, 
perfect landing for Max Moffitt on the double bio 16-20. He's rolling on the ground in excitement. I, he can't even believe it right now. What a reaction out of Max Moffitt. I mean, look at this up top, dives forward, puts the hand down, the poles bang on that. You hear the noise of it. The landing so clean, such smooth style from Max. Here's that 1440. So again, left and right side rotations, a 14 and a right side 16. Judges need to see you spinning both directions down this course. And he does it with some major rotations. Does he get the grab? He does. The landing, big, clean. I mean, sitting in third, is that enough to bump up? How does that compare to Mac Forehand and Andre Regetli's run? Oh my and God. that bumps him back up yeah, into right. that super metal spot. Oh.